Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, these uh, blue intersecting chords inside this circle, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, line segment is represented by x minus 1, and this line segment is represented by 2x minus 7, whereas these line segments are represented by x plus 1, and uh, x minus 3. Now we are going to calculate uh, this distance uh, AB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our game plan. We are going to solve for x first. We are going to find the value of x before we find the value of this length AB. And here's our very first step. Let's recall the intersecting chords theorem. If two chords intersect in a circle, then the product of the measures of the segments of the chords are equal, as you can see in this uh, diagram. We can see the product of these uh, two segment A times B equal to C times D, as you can see in this uh, equation. So therefore, let me go ahead and label this uh, segment as lowercase a, this segment lowercase b, this uh, c, and this uh, d. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. In our case, a is uh, x minus 1 times b is uh, 2x minus 7 equals to c in our case is x plus 1 times d is x minus 3. Let's go ahead and multiply these factors by double distribution by just simply multiplying. Likewise, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Therefore, on the left hand side, we're going to get 2x square minus 7x minus 2x plus 7 equals to on the right hand side that's going to give us uh, x square minus uh, 3x uh, plus x uh, minus uh, 3. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms on both sides. So we are going to get uh, 2x uh, square minus uh, 9x uh, plus uh, 7 equal to x square minus uh, 2x minus 3. Now let's go ahead and move everything uh, to the left hand side. Let's combine once again. So that is going to give us x square minus uh, 7x plus uh, 10 equal to 0. And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring. So therefore, let's focus on this negative 7x. This could be written as a negative 2x minus 5x, isn't it? So therefore, this is going to become x squared minus 2x minus 5x plus 10 equals to 0. And here we can see between first these two terms, x is in common. And likewise, in second two terms, over here, negative 5 is in common. So therefore, we are going to write down x times x minus 2 minus 5 times x minus 2 as well equal to 0. And here we can see x minus 2 and x minus 2, they are in common. So therefore, we can write this thing x minus 2. 2 times x minus 5 equal to 0. Now we got two factors equal to 0. Let's go and separate them. I can write x minus 2 equal to 0 and the second factor x minus 5 equal to 0 as well. Now let's focus on this first equation. x minus 2 equal to 0 means x equals to 2 value and for this uh, second equation x minus 5 equal to 0 means our x value is going to be positive 5. 
And now we can see we got two values of x. Let's focus on x equal to 2 value. If we plug it in over here, let's suppose on this one. So that is going to become 2 minus 3. That is going to be negative 1. And this represents the side length. So this cannot be negative. So therefore we can see that x equal to 2 is not possible. No wonder we are going to reject this value and we are going to accept x equal to 5 value. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and substitute x equal to 5 values in these uh, expressions, all of them. If we replace this x by 5, so this is going to become 5 plus 1 is 6. And likewise, if we replace this x by 5, so that's going to give us 5 minus 1 is 4. And if we replace x by 5 over here, that is going to give us 3 value. And finally, if we replace this x by 5, that is going to give us value 2. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate uh, the length of this uh, AB. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle ACB. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and represent this uh, longest leg as our side C. I'm going to call this side A and this side lowercase b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 4, so this is going to become 4 square. b in our case is 6, so 6 square equal to c square. So that's going to give us 16 plus 36 equal to c square. So therefore c square turns out to be 52. Let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square. This is gone. So therefore c value turns out to be square root of 52. And now we can see square root of 52 could be simplified to 2 times square root of 13. So therefore our side c turns out to be simply 2 times square root of 13. So therefore this side length turns out to be 2 times square root of 13. So thus our length AB turns out to be 2 times square root of 13 units. And this is approximately equal to 7.2 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.